Now let's tie the discussions that we've had about measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion together. So what happens as the standard deviation changes in a distribution? What happens to the distribution? And if the average value changes, what happens to the distribution? So we're going to generate some normally distributed data sets to see what happens when the variability changes or the average value changes. So the first thing we need to do is, let's go up by the big blue eye, go over to the worksheets folder, and let's begin by putting in some names, some field names, for our data sets. So we're going to have a data set that has a standard deviation of 1. We're going to have a data set that has a standard deviation of 0.5. And we're going to have a data set that has a standard deviation of 0.25. All right, then we're going to have a data set that has an average value of 9. We're going to have a data set that has an average value of 10 and a data set with an average value of 11. Let's go ahead and generate the data. So we go to Calc, Random Data, and way up at the top here, out of your screen, it says Normal. So click on Normal. We're going to generate 100 data points. We are going to store them in Data S1. It's going to have a mean of 10, a standard deviation of 1. There's our first data set. I'm sure you got the same numbers that I did. Well, of course not. It's randomly generated data. Our numbers should be different. All right, edit last dialog box or control E. And now we're going to change this to data S.5. And we are going to generate data with a standard deviation of 0.5. Same mean. And we're going to edit last dialog box once again. We're going to select S.25. We're going to change the standard deviation of 0.25 and generate that data set. Next, we'll generate the data sets for 9, 10, and 11 average values. Edit last dialog box. Select data set 9. It has an average value of 9, standard deviation of 0.25. Edit last dialog box, data set 10, average value change that to 10, keep the standard deviation the same. And one last time, generate data set 11 with a mean of 11 and say OK. And now we have all of our sets of data. Let's click on the big blue eye. And we can see that we have a data set with a standard deviation of 1, 0.5, and 0.25, 100 data points each and a data set with an average of 9, 10, and 11, 100 data points each. Let's go ahead and generate a histogram so we can take a look at the difference between changing variation and changing average values. So graph, histogram, and we're going to select a histogram that's called with fit and groups. I'm sure you will find this one useful as you go forward using these tools within Minitab. So we're going to select data set S1 through S25, select that, and then generate our histogram. I'm going to edit the last dialog box again. I'm going to delete those values. I'm going to highlight data set 9 through data set 11 and select them and generate that histogram. Now notice that as we change the average value, but we kept the distribution the same, you can see how the distribution changed. It shifted to the right from 9 to 10 to 11. It started marching up the scale, and the scale is on the bottom. The density is the frequency of occurrence that we see of values that are stacked up in our little buckets within our histogram. So we would expect to see that these have about the same height. All right, now granted, it's randomly generated data, so our um, the green one, number 11, we ended up with a 0.21 versus 0.25248. Um, so there's a little bit of a difference in our standard deviations based on what we told it. Um, but we have a value of 9, 9.975, and 10.96 for average values. We're expecting 9, 10, and 11. And 
those are the differences that we see when the average value changes. Now if we go to the big blue eye and grab the graphs folder and highlight the first graph, now this one, the average value that we expected to see was about 10. So we've got a mean of 10.17, 9.99, 9.98, and we wanted to have a standard deviation of 1, 0.5, and 0.25. And you can see the standard deviation of 1, we had a very wide distribution with not a lot of height. All right. Then, as we move to standard deviation of 0.5, we got a lot closer to our average value of 10. And now, when we shrunk that to 0.25, you can see that as we shifted the variation and reduced the standard deviation, we got dramatically tighter around the average value. And if that was our target point, this would be fabulous. So that's a quick review of measures of central tendency and what happens when the average value shifts, and measures of dispersion when we see the standard deviation get smaller and smaller. So that finishes our discussion of some basic statistics and measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion.